Hi there everyone, welcome to part 3 of tying spinner rigs in the lovely rain out there and it is coming down in buckets. I'm going to take, as with the previous clips, I'm going to take 26 centimeters of 25 pound quarter boom and I'm going to cut the line at a 45 degree angle. Let me just grab my my crimps. I've got two crimps there. Slide the line through the one barrel and fold it back and slide it through the other. And there you create the bigger loop for the end of the rig like that. Now I use the small part of my crimping tool and I crimp it closed and I cut off the tag end. Now for the other end I slide the crimp through the barrel, I slide my spinner swivel through and you'll notice that I've already cut off the ring. There we go. Let me just open up that a little bit more. I want a seven and a half inch length, so I put the spinner swivel at seven and a half inches. No, it's a little bit more. Let's see now. I'm almost there. I want to create a small little loop to give me that free movement of the swivel. Almost there. There we go. Now I just crimp it closed. And I cut off the tag end. And all that is left is to stretch my boom and for that I use my puller tool and the choddy tool one two three times and I've got a perfect boom for the next part of this rig I'm going to be using the Deary Kickers and like I said earlier on the Curve Shank size 2. What is important here is because I'm using a size 2 hook, I'm using the Deary Kicker Large in the orange packet that is intended for hook sizes 2 to 4. Let me just take a hook out of the packet. Before we start cutting anything, I need to point out that I'm going to be cutting a piece off that Deary Kicker so that it sits nicely on the spinner swivel. But I first have to slide the micro ring swivel over the back end. Like that. Now I'm going to cut the sharp end off and I'm going to turn this kicker on its back like that. Now I'm going to take the hook from the back end, I'm going to slide it over, just get it through there, there we go, like that. Now you'll see there's a flat end of the Deary Kicker and a sharper end. So I want to take the sharper end. Let me just turn it the right way around for you. Like that. I'm going to take the sharper end 
and slide that through the point of the hook. You can just get it through there. There we go. And I'm going to take my nail and get it over the, over the bob like that. So this is how the rig should be sitting at this point. Now I'm going to take my boom and the spinner swivel and I'm going to hook this over like that. Now comes the fairly tricky part. Now I've got to pull this DD kicker over the eye of the hook and over the spinner swivel. And sometimes you've got to make use of your crimping tool and maybe a cloth or your t-shirt or something. Luckily I've got it over this time. That's how it's got to sit because I want that additional movement there and I want that additional movement there. Now it's just a matter of getting everything in the right position like that and now comes the putty again like with all the other clips I do not fish the spinner rig without any putty so let me just get a piece out here I'll turn it around for you I flatten it Put it over the crimp, like that, and then I mold it around. There we go. Now, this rig can sit like that, or it can sit like that, depending on whether I'm going to be using a pop-up or a snowman. The final part of this rig is to get it fish ready and for that I'm going to be using a 15 millimeter balance wafter, the mainline diamond whites. You can use any bait for that matter, but I like to use a wafter tie bait, whether it's a critically balanced tiger nut or a snowman presentation, but I like the hook part to lie flat on the deck. So I take a piece of floss and I put the floss through the eye of the swivel. I fold it back so it sits by the eye of the swivel. And then I slide the bait on. Now make sure that the bait goes in about halfway into that swivel like that then I can cut off a piece of that floss and then burn it with a lighter like that give it a dab and there you have it a D-Rig using a D-Rig kicker and it's going to present on the lake bed like that And there you have a wafter with a curve shank, a deer kicker, absolutely beautiful. Give it a try.